Good evening, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day as the rain just started because we have a little tropical storm heading in this direction as we're driving by downtown Orlando, heading over to the Universal Orlando Resort. We made it. We beat the crowd. We are coming prepared. I have the big umbrella. Bianca's here. She has a rain jacket. By the way, these tents right here, for people who get a little too intoxicated at HHN. <laughs> so tonight, the game plan is we are starting here inside of City Walk because we finally get the chance to go experience the Dead Coconut Club, which is a Universal Monsters themed bar here in City Walk. And then we're going to be making our way over to Islands of Adventure because the Death Eaters are here on the East Coast. And last night was supposed to be their debut, but because of the weather, they never came out so i'm hoping to see them tonight and then we're going to end the night just enjoying halloween horror nights sounds like a good time as you're walking through city walk once you see the universal studio store and red oven pizza bakery you're going to turn and go up this oh geez he just fell just go right up this escalator and here we are look at the theming with the universal monsters this is the dead coconut club Usually this is the Red Coconut Club, but we have an awesome overlay. I am also testing out my brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max. I am filming in 4K, 30 frames, and so far the camera is a huge upgrade. I'm really hoping that the audio is amazing and also the low light quality is awesome on this iPhone. Looks like we're not the only crazy ones waiting for this place to open. Hello Frankenstein, looking handsome. I have never been in here before. I have no idea where to go. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Oh, there's the bride of Frankenstein up there. Looks like this is the main bar. We found a comfortable place to sit. Bianca found this spot. The theming is great. We have little fake flames going. There's a second additional bar right here. Oh, I did not even see Wolfman over here. Oh, look at this guy <laughs> holding a martini. We have some more monsters over this way by the second bar. The creature's just chilling. Is that the creature from the Black Lagoon? Here's a quick look at the drink menu. Pardon my injured finger there. Everything sounds so good. The Bleeding Eye, the Haunted Isle, Java Island Beast. Interesting. We have wines, beer, white claws. They also have Oktoberfest and pumpkin ale. I just looked up and I noticed they have like a solar system on the ceiling. I am also enjoying this music so much. I'm here at the bar about to order my drink and I just noticed the Bride of Frankenstein, she's on top of the piano and the piano player is headless. I decided to go with the Haunted Isle. This has bitters and all kinds of different rums. This was like $14.50. It is delicious. It is strong. You can opt to have your drink inside of a souvenir tiki mug, but that is more money. I can't remember off the top of my head, but really good drink. And my fiance opted to get a good old ice water because she is the designated driver tonight. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Next drink up, I just told the bartender, could you make me something with whiskey? And she told me this was called Zombie Brain. So here it is, looks really good. There's a few eyeballs in there as well. I have to say Universal, great job with the Dead Coconut Club. I was just speaking with a few team members. Some of them may have been some managers. They said they are possibly looking into making a Christmas themed dead coconut club bar. So Universal, please make that happen. The drinks were amazing. The entertainment, the vibe, the atmosphere, everything was great. If you guys are here during the Halloween season, come check this place out. It was a really good time. But now let's head over to Islands of Adventure because it's not raining. Maybe we should make a stop inside of Rising Star I've tonight. I've never been. 
I've never been with you. It's a yeah. good time. It's a karaoke bar. Yeah, It'll this like place is cruise. really fun. What's that? It'll be like the cruise. Just like the cruise. World Caribbean, not Disney, right? Yeah. <laughs> Passing by Universal's Great Movie Escape, which is a brand new escape game coming here to City Walk sometime soon. I'm not noticing anything too new as far as updates, but it's coming. We have some construction walls up and some scrim around Port of Entry, the Christmas shop. It's still open though. Bianca wanted some coffee, so we're in line here at Starbucks inside of Islands of Adventure. Apparently everybody else wanted coffee. <laughs> Could I get a tall iced coffee, black with oat milk? And then can you add a pump of sugar-free vanilla, please? Yes, sir. Cheers! Oh, there's the Hulk. That looks really fun. We are now entering Hogsmeade. By the way, the weather forecast said it's supposed to be raining. 90% chance right now, and the sun is out. Would you look at that? I switched over to cinematic mode to see what it looks like as we're walking through Hogsmeade. It's a little busy in here. I don't know what time the Death Eaters come out. I think maybe around 7 p.m. About 25 minutes later, the music just changed into some creepy music with the Death Eaters. There's a fog machine right here, some green lights. However, I don't see any Death Eaters out just yet. At 7.02 in the evening, Hagrid's has a 90 minute wait. As I'm walking around Hogsmeade, I've been asking a few team members, what time will the Death Eaters come out? And nobody seems to really know, it just says, at dusk online and you know dusk can vary but the music did change we have fog going we have the green lights out so i'm sure any minute now another 20 minutes later the death eaters are not out just yet so we're going to walk through the all hallows eve boutique real quick check out these frankenstein popcorn buckets for 38 dollars they are kind of cool and your first fill is free with popcorn they have added these adorable little boo purses i don't see a price on them there's the back that's cross nice. Body. A crossbody. All right. <laughs> they have also added this Motorama machine inside of this store with little Boo for $8. These machines are starting to pop up all around the Universal Orlando Resorts. Holy cow. I have found the crowd for the Death Eaters. There's a little platform stage set up right in front of the three broomsticks. Looks like something is about to happen. to see the dark arts nighttime show well i think because it's the first show it has hit capacity as far as the first viewing area i don't know they're not letting anybody through right now we can kind of see the projections on hogwarts right now oh the fireworks anyway holy cow i love the Death Eaters. I'm so happy to finally see Death Eaters here on the East Coast throughout Hogsmeade. I hope this is something Universal will keep around for a while because it really makes a difference and the entertainment is great and 
you know, this is something we should have had a long time ago. I know the Death Eaters are all over the place out in Hollywood, so it's just really nice seeing them. I did try to have a photo with one of the Death Eaters. This is how it came out. <laughs> Oh man, look at this view. There's the Velocicoaster, you have Hogwarts right there, Mythos. And then over here you have the Incredible Hulk Coaster. I feel like I haven't been to this park at nighttime in so long. It's really nice to be back just testing out the low light features on the new iPhone. Looks pretty good. Interesting, the exit is blocked off where you would go through the turnstiles having us walk this way around this gift shop. Well, hello there, Halloween Horror Nights. We're coming up on the Pumpkin Lord. No longer rest in the shadows. I have taken root and will now accept your praise. I am the Pumpkin <laughs> Passing through Nettlewood Cemetery. Ooh. I'm really impressed so far with the low light quality when I'm in cinematic mode. Let's see what happens here. Whoa. That's a scary dude. Oh, they added somebody else over here. There's two of them now. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> There's my favorite costume. Whoa. Is that one of the swings over here? Oh yeah, my favorite. I feel like they've added so much since opening night. Whoa, like that guy. So much fog. Oh, oh that's a great scare right there. I love how they have chainsaw people around the park this year. Nell's dying. Oh, nice. The construction walls are finally down other than this little box here. Brand new walkway. Well, at least the concrete is or the bricks. As we are approaching Sweet Revenge, our next scare zone, Universal added a kill window right there. Crap, it's so busy. I love how they have all of this candy. Whoa. Also, the lights really add a lot to the scare zone. Hey, Major, what did you put in that candy? Family secret. <laughs> the tribute store looks awesome. Oh, look at this pumpkin dude on stilts. Yeah, he's a new one. All right. <laughs> it is so dang busy tonight. I can't even walk. Can you guys tell how busy it is? I mean, it is a Saturday night. By the way, Halloween has an 80 minute wait right now. I think we just may uh, head out of here a little early tonight. There's little Boo right there in the middle. The smell of Cinnabon drew me in. I want that middle one right there. This is our little cheat for the week. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing in here. How are you? Good, could I ask for a favor? Could I get that middle one right there? Yeah, thank you so much. Oh my great heavens. Oh geez, this is going to be very, very dangerous. But look how good that looks. We deserve it. 
Yeah, we're sharing it. We're going to split it. I love having a partner who I can split everything with. <laughs> that way I don't have to take in all of these calories. You split it into fours. Every bite is worth it right now. <laughs> Every bite. <laughs> they were uh, not kidding with this quote. Love baked into every bite. All right, my friends, we have made it back to the car, but on the way here, we were passing by the security checkpoint and the security team members are in fact asking for IDs. You have to be 18 and older to enter City Walk at a certain time. I don't know what time, I don't wanna say it. Maybe if I find it, I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but they're checking IDs, so that's crazy. But it was a fun evening here at Universal, starting at the Dead Coconut Club. Those drinks were really good, the atmosphere, the vibe. I can't wait to go back and enjoy the Dead Coconut Club, and I hope they continue that on through the Christmas season as well. And then we got to go over to Islands of Adventure to see the Death Eaters. That was a good time. I really enjoyed seeing so many Death Eaters just walk around Hogsmeade. We did not get to see the dark art magic show on Hogwarts, but we'll just come back. It was way too crazy and busy. And then we walked over to Universal Studios Florida to just see what was happening at HHN. We've never been on a Saturday, so we knew it was going to be crazy, but it was nice just to step foot in and walk through some scare zones and I met so many of you guys and yeah, just we enjoyed it tonight. It was much needed. It was more chill, low key, relaxed and yeah, we needed a Saturday night like this. Universal is, you know, just the place to be right now. Oh yeah, by the way, what did you guys think of the iPhone 14 Pro? I don't know yet until I edit, but I feel like if the audio is good, I can definitely vlog with this phone more, at least during the day, maybe not so much at nighttime just because the low light was good but not crazy like i was thinking thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help up the channel in so many different ways there's a lot of crazy people around us right now i love you guys and i will see you in the next video prince charming out i am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the right they need to slowly for those can lift me up this time You were the only one who got me tripping up inside